Hello once again. My name is Prosper and this is the talk. I welcome you to this beautiful episode of the program. Today we're going to be looking strategically on some aspect of our lives as Nigerian. Like I always say, Nigeria is one of the best countries to live in. Second in so many things across the globe. First in so many things across the length and breadth of Africa. Just recently, um, between the 4th and the 18th of this month, December here, or just December here, all the first ladies of African countries, the head of states and decision makers across the length and breadth of Africa are converging in Nigeria, here in Abuja, to discuss one of those salient issues, you know, that I, I, I keep talking about, dressing, this indecent dressing, especially for Nigeria here, open body so that men will not say you're fine. You don't need it. You are fine from the inside. Have your brain set up. You're going to hear somebody speak, somebody I admire so much. Apart from this lady being somebody in government, is somebody who has the intellect, somebody who will sound, and she dresses so decently as a mother and a grandmother. Listening to what this beautiful lady has to say. Welcome to Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation. We live in a world where our women and youth must be given a platform to express themselves, groomed to have self-esteem and positive mindset, thereby eradicating social vices and indecent dress culture, thereby building a generation of leaders in Africa, totally new ones. It is for this reason I am welcoming people from all over the world, from far and near, our African First Ladies, the African Union, United Nations, ambassadors, ministers of governments, and other stakeholders as the FCT hosts the entire Africa on a single platform from December 4th to the 18th, 2021, with the theme, Uniting Africa, Discouraging Indecent Dress Culture, Promoting African Tourism, and empowering the African woman. This event, which is the ninth edition, is also aimed at promoting peace and security in the African continent. Please, stay tuned. Una hear what she talk? Una hear what she talk? Now they are coming here to discuss diversity in culture, they're talking about insecurity, but most importantly, they're talking about our dress sense. I don't know about other African countries, but my concern are Nigeria. Guys, must you sag to show people that you don't arrive or you don't just see? You don't need it. Babes, must you open your bobby? Make guys, they see what you carry for chest. Or they open lap one kind. Some, some of the girls said they even really piss me off. They will sit on top of a bike haven't dressed indecently from their homes, and they use that, they go they use hand, they draw cloth, they sit down on top of Kada so that we don't see that that's his thinking panties. Come on! You don't need all that. All you need to do as a youth, be intelligent. This your dream, focus on your dream. And trust me, the sky is your springboard. We have so many things to gain as Nigerians, and we have so many things again to lose as indecent youths. Come on! Dress well, look good, and become something like that. Don't oh, slap me! Like me, Kuna Slav. I will go still talk out. Tomorrow, if you see me for street, all those babes when they show Bobby Abi, what do you call this? Cleavage? The others were saying they sag. They show me your dirty boxers. So even if they show me clean boxers, I said, I don't understand. You know, so you are good, you are decent, you are intelligent, dress well as a lady, the guys will come running after you. Now dress well as a young man, the girls will also come running after you. Guess what? Those who even dress decently are the ones that have the decent friends around them. For those of you seeing this program for the first time, subscribe and click on the notification button to be the first to see our latest videos. I don't know about you, 
But this is Miss Prosper saying, thank you for this episode again. This is Sadie Talk with Prosper. I'm out of here.